So we've decided to take our first trip up north uh, from where we're actually staying to come up around and have a look at the rice terraces. Now up around this area here there is all the very Instagrammable, well it's all Instagrammable, but uh, there's a few cafes that are down along here that you're going to pay a premium dollar to go into. But we got a little tip off to come up to this beautiful little cafe here. It's called Tiz Cafe, T-I-S. So we're going to come here, have a few drinks, just hang out for a few hours. And as you could probably see here, this is the cafe. And then we do have the terraces in the background. So this is the Tengala Lang Rice Terraces and I'm going to attempt to go on a little walk because I need to put my drone up somewhere. And um, ooh, those trees are actually soft. So I'm going to go on a little walk. It's a little mucky around here. That's okay. Um, I mean, this is nature. You're right in the middle of nature here. Absolutely beautiful. So the place where we are, Tiz Cafe, that one is actually not as busy as the likes of um, the, the, the ones that are just down, the real Instagram places. Not that this isn't Instagrammable, but much quieter, no pressure, really, really nice. You can see terraces themselves directly across the way. When you do come down, make sure these people are actually working here and make sure that you give them some kind of a donation as well because uh, all their hard work, they don't get too much. That's the, the couple that I was talking to there and the lady in the shop. They actually owned all this land that's here. So they're working hard. I gave them a, a donation, which to much is, is much to me, but to these people, it's going to be an awful lot. So the sun is going down behind me. And as you can see here, they all come. It's all her family. They come hard and they work the fields and that's what they do. So they just come, they work hard and they work the rice. And that's what they do. As the sun is setting that beautiful family they're really nice this like not only do they come and they work the fields directly across from all the people that are up here having a fantastic lifestyle they work the fields here but they also allow the guides they ask the guides to bring um, visitors on here they try sell some rice they have limited English but they explain as much as they can she was really nice explaining to me that harvest twice a year um, they only have like, uh, I think he said 40 meters or maybe a little more, something like that. Uh, it's not too much, but this is where his neighbors would be. So they come and uh, they harvest the land that's here. And then they just try and make, they even have a website online as well. So they said, please go give a review. So very, very nice. I'm so glad I came down here. I was saying to Paula, I don't know, will I go down and put the drone up? So when I was down, she was at the entrance to the gate, which is down here on this side. And I said it to her, she said she was so nice, smiling, said hello. And I said, look, is it okay if I put my drone up? And she said, yes, if you would like to give a little donation. And I did, of course I did. I would have given it to her anyway. Um, but such lovely people. 
you know, and in this landscape that's around, you see all the, the neighbours and stuff are now are coming in and they're all working for the last hour. Hello. and enjoyable day that we've had so far. Um, the Tiz Cafe is the name of it and when you're coming up here to Telelangi uh, Rice Terraces, great place to come and see. So don't forget folks if you could to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I really really would appreciate that. Thank you all so much.